in this video, we will talk about matrix. In the previous video, we exercised the vector in RStudio together, right? So today, we will focus on matrix. As I talked to you uh, in previous video, matrix can cover only same data types. And we can select the, uh, each element using two uh, indexes, all right? And uh, when you uh, check the this table, uh, the metric, as well as vector and array can have a homogeneous data type. And in case of a metric, it has uh, the two dimension. All right. So you should know what data structure can be homogeneous type. All right. So metric can be homogeneous. All right. And how about the function for metric generation? Different from vector, uh, uh, C, the concatenation function C, uh, in case the metric, we can use the metric function. And we can uh, use two indexes to make that. All right. And um, for the data frame, uh, we can use the data frame function in the previous the week videos. And so, uh, you can also refer the list function in advance. Anyway, today we will talk about the metrics. Okay. So, uh, metric can have uh, the uh, similar, I mean, not similar, the same data types only for the element, so you should know it. So if you check the, this figure, uh, metric can have multiple columns and loads of data, and the same data type, that is the single type, such as the numeric or text, all right? So that is different from data frame. So the different color means the different data type, as I talked to you, okay? So that is the short the, uh, review of the vector. We already made many kinds of a vector with the C and C sequence and uh, repetition functions uh, based on the mixture, right? And uh, we uh, saved the, our wizard file uh, with the PDF and plot function. Today, we will talk about the metrics. To make metric, we can consider the two arguments, such as n low and n column. All right? And we can also uh, consider uh, many kinds of another functions, such as is, is it, it a not applicable variable. So NA is the ab abbreviation for not applicable, right? So is there a not applicable value in metrics like that? Uh, in this case, we can use the is that NA function. And the exclamation in uh, R or programming, uh, most, mean, uh, most part of uh, these languages uh, has the force or not uh, effect to the uh, data or function. So in conclusion, the exclamation is similar, uh, not. So the negative uh, meaning of this part, all right? So finally, this function means uh, um, is is there, uh, isn't there uh, negative value in all elements? So uh, in the other hand, um, are all elements the positive value like that? How about this? That is the uh, opposite case of the first one, right? So that means um, are all elements uh, the not applicable, the all elements, not applicable elements like that. And how about this function? When you look at the function name, we can imagine 
if uh, uh, if it uh, not element uh, in argument stop please like that so stop if not uh, the input value and how about the, this that is the exist the function for the metric so uh, wait uh, okay well, anyway we can um, make the matrix in our console uh, in practice and we can get the meaning based on the comment right so our comment has its own meaning right so we can do it in our studio together all right so please open your r studio and then uh, you can test uh metric cases in console all by yourself first we can make variable and assignment operator and then we can uh, use the metric function and we can make the metric like that so finally sorry finally if you check this uh we can get the four rows and single column right so that means we can make four rows and single column right so uh, the elements start uh, number one two four right and then if you want to make the uh, uh, metric with the number of the columns is three uh, we can use the second parameter with n column. All right, so we can make matrix and the six elements with the n columns is number three. So we can get the three uh, columns results. Uh, the uh, this matrix or this metric is filled with the six elements, right? So as I talked to you, if you use the colon in R, that means the, the vector can be generated from one to six. But that is not vector data type because we call or we use the metric function with the second parameter. So we can get the metric uh, naturally all right and how about this if you make your own variable with assignment operator and we can uh, make a metric with the end low or the second uh, parameter after that uh, uh, you can imagine uh, the second parameter name number of low right so the number of low is the three so one two three and the element is one two three uh, four five six so we can make the different matrix uh, on top of the second parameter i mean according to the n column or n low all right and finally if we Mm, if we want to uh, select the specific elements, we can use the index, uh, the reserved words as I talked to you. So that means um, the second row, right, and the first column. So the element number two can be selected like that. How about this? If you use uh, this comment we want to get the two low right so we can get the two elements such as number two and number five and how about this uh, if we use only column index we can get the uh, this uh, column so we can get the number one two three so in conclusion, um, if you use the metric function, we can make a metric with the uh, input value. 
but in this case input value is number one and input value is just a vector from number two four four right so uh, we can make uh, make uh, we can make a metric metric generation with a vector right so in this case uh, based on uh, based on a single single parameter single parameter right so there is the single parameter uh, in metric function in this case you can put the enumeration of integer or characters or strings right so that means a vector right but uh, we can make a metric with the another uh, grammar so with a vector and and call and call parameter right so uh, we can make a metric uh, with a vector as your well as and call parameter right and we also uh, make our another metric with a vector as well as n low all right and we can also uh, uh, select a proper element with the reserved word this in index index one index two right so um I mean, in case of index one, that is the information for n low, right? N low. Index of n low. And in this case, the second parameter is index of n call. All right? So after that, we can select a proper element only with this reserved word and we can also uh, uh, we can also uh, get a vector generation with the uh, reserved word uh, index of and low and nothing empty all right in metric after making metric we can also get a specific vector with this grammar and we can also get a met get a, a vector uh, with reserved words uh, index trick index of n call in metric all right so of course we can make a vector uh, with the various ways in a previous video right but after making a metric of course as well as the data frame we can um, get a, a vector uh, on top of the proper column consideration all right so if we uh, consider a specific column in metric we can get the a single uh, vector automatically so you should know how can you get it and you can exercise it R studio all by yourself with enough time all right so you can paste this 
and then uh, again copy and paste in the proper place after metric part all right so you can paste all by yourself also in your word file and then uh, you can test it so um, in this uh, screen, I also exercised the metric example. So I made six elements. So single column has a higher than low. All right. So uh, first column uh, was generated with this comment, right? But if you want to make the uh, metric uh, with the end number of rows four and number of columns three we can make we can use the second and third parameter or fiber sir and then we can generate the uh, another metric so in this case the, uh, the number of all elements is 12 because we can multiply uh, the n rows number and n column number right in this case, after ending of six, uh, our interpreter automatically generates uh, from number one to six or more, right? So uh, the number of the rows is four and the number of columns is three, right? And if we use the first parameter uh, as dimensions, uh, we can uh, modify the uh, rows name and columns name like that. So uh, when you look at the parameter name, mm, that is the dim name, right? So dimension name. So we can make the uh, vectors with the concatenate function C and we can enumerate the number of the rows name like that and comma we can also enumerate the columns name in this place and if you want to uh, consider two vectors continuously uh, we can use the list function uh, for a high reading so after that, we can uh, modify the dimension names with the metric function. So you can get your result also. And uh, if uh, all elements of this metric has uh, not uh, is not and not function uh, please stop this comment all right but if we want to recognize understand this comment naturally you should uh, uh, read uh, the comment from the right side first i mean not left side you should read the comment from the right side first all right so right side there is the metric in this function right so what is this function this function is not an a function that means is there uh, an a uh, not applicable uh, data inside of this metric Look at this metric. If you observe or take a look all elements of the metric, there is not uh, not applicable variable, right? Not applicable data. I mean, when you compare this metric and this metric, this metric has not applicable data in this metric, right? But in this case, there is no an A and a data not applicable is similar to um, error so uh, not applicable is the 
we cannot consider this data properly, right? So when you look at this metric, there is no an A, right? So this value is true. I mean, when you consider this part from asterisk uh, to the end of the phrase, there the meaning is uh, there is not uh, an A in metric, right? So it is true. So if is the uh, true and all elements is not an A, right? So in this case, stop. But there is, there is not, again, negative, the word is here, right? So that means um, the two times negative value. So finally, that is the true, right? So in this case, um, in this metric, there is no an A value, right? In this case, we can stop, but there is the another negative uh, word is here. So that means we can stop if there is an A in this metric, right? So that comment uh, has the, this meaning. So please uh, think about with enough time. Both cases, without exclamation and with exclamation, right? Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, please test the metric again. And we can change uh, this place element with an A value. So that means from two to three rows and two column places can be changed from number to an A. So after this function is an A in metric, yeah, of course, where two and three rows and two column has an A. So the result is true and the remaining element is false, right? So it is very natural. And finally, if you uh, consider the last comment, uh, if exists any an A, uh, in this M metric, uh, please return true. So when you look at this metric of M, there is an A variable right there. So after this comment, the result is true, all right? So please uh, consider the all comment and exercise uh, them in our interpreter uh, all by yourself and then uh, please uh, copy and paste uh, the bottom um, part of your word file all right okay so um, you can paste to your case all right, so you can uh, test the many other cases uh, according to the variable uh, and according to the parameter values. And you can test about the other cases. All right. Okay. All right. In this video, uh, we talk about the metric. So different from vector, metric can have several vectors, right? But different from data frame, metric is the homogeneous. So it can have only same data type, such as the uh, integer, character, or string. So you can change um uh, metric element from numeric to the character or by yourself and you can also uh, get the metric information in detail uh, 
with this of metric so uh, or uh, after metric typing and you can press the apple right so when you uh, look at the bottom right here is the metric information more right metric creates a metric from the given set of values there are two kinds of functions to use the metric the as dot metric or is dot metric so in case of the as dot metric it's attempt to turn into argument into metric uh, similar to the edge data frame right or is that metric test if its argument is a uh, metric so you can test these functions all by yourself and we can use the metric function uh, with the various input values as I talked to you uh, before so uh, data uh, can be an A as well as vector and we can uh, use the end row as well as end column uh, and we also covered the dimension names with the metric function right so you can test uh, them all by yourself so that is the argument information in case of the data uh, data can be an optional data vector including a list or uh, expression vector all right in case of n low uh, it is the desired number of loads in case of n call that is a uh, desired number of columns and we also use the dim names uh, parameter for change the load name as well as columns name right and if you check the uh, bottom part of help screen uh, there are another examples for either that uh, metric exclamation is the metric as well as as that metric function all right so you can do it uh, all by yourself and then copy and paste in your word portfolio all right okay that's it in this video uh, we covered the metric so please uh, take further uh, about the this uh, slice and uh, frequently uh, take a look this figure uh, with your cell phone of course you can take further this slide too so you should know what is a scholar scholar is just a single layer right and what is the vector with the figure and what kind of a function is needed for vector generation and we can also make a metric with metric function and we can also make a data frame with the data uh, frame function but a uh, data frame can have different data types right and in case of list it can cover um, many different data types and various data types um, at a time so you can check the difference between vector metric and data frame with this video too all right okay so um, please uh, leave you a metric parts as well as vector and then you can make your own metric with with enough time okay and i recommend you use the uh, reserved word for selection the name is index because we should use index reserved word very frequently in future for select 
to select the partial information in big data. All right. Okay, that's it. Thank you for listening. See you later. Bye.